Welcome to the Silicon Labs introductory video on installing Simplicity Studio. Before you begin, you should mount a radio board on a wireless starter kit mainboard and connect the assembled device to your computer. Simplicity Studio needs to know the target device to filter protocols, filter demos and examples, and configure your project. First, go to the website shown on the card in your development kit. The page will be different depending on your kit, but in general they have the same characteristics, including a button to click to take you to the specific set of instructions. In this case, we're going to choose the Zigbee path. You already have your wireless starter kit, so scroll down to Installing Simplicity Studio. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to use the Windows installer. You'll find that you need to log in before you can download. If you haven't already created an account, create one now. Click Create an Account and fill out the information on the form that appears. You'll receive an email with a link. Click it and on the resulting page, click Log in to your account. Log in. Go back to the Getting Started page, click Zigbee, scroll down, and begin the download. Once download is complete, you can begin installation. Accept the license agreement. In general, you'll use the default installation location. Once installation is complete, accept the terms of use, and then log in with the account you just created. Login is required in order to download most of the Silicon Labs wireless protocols. When prompted, install the device inspector. Notice that your hardware has been detected in the Device Manager. When the Device Support dialog opens, select the device and click Next. The screen shows the SDKs you have permission to load. Two of the SDKs, Ember Zenet and Silicon Labs Thread, require kit registration. Since we're going to do an Ember Zenet install, we'll register. Enter the serial number shown on your kit box and click Login Register Kit. Simplicity Studio then checks for access. It's possible that, once that check is complete, the interface still does not show Ember Zenet and Silicon Labs thread. If that occurs, wait a minute, then click the Signed In link and click Log In. That refreshes Simplicity Studio's understanding of your access, and you should then see all SDKs. Click Next. To reduce installation time, turn off all the SDKs you aren't going to use. In this case, I'll leave Ember Zenet on. Click Finish. Studio then installs the SDK. This takes a bit of time. While you wait, you can watch videos about how to use Studio or look at other educational resources. Once installation is complete, you need to restart Studio. On Restart, if you want to take the tour, you can, or you can click Exit Tour. And you'll notice that you don't see a lot of information. So click your device, and then Studio displays documentation, examples, and demos if there are any. You can also see that your selected protocol is installed. When installing a new device, always check to see if any firmware updates are available. Click Download to download all firmware versions. If a newer version is available, you'll be notified. In this case, we're current. Finally, you need to have a compiler installed. Simplicity Studio comes with GCC. But Ember Zenet and Silicon Labs Thread require IAR Embedded Workbench. You may already have IAR installed, but it must be a compatible version. The best way to check, or to install it if you don't have it, is through the support portal. To get there, click Resources, click Technical Support, then scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click Email Support Request. Log in. Click the Software Releases tab and select, in this example, Latest Ember Zenet Software. Download IAR Embedded Workbench, 
or simply confirm you have the correct version. After installation, you can use IAR's License Manager to register for a 30-day trial. After installing IAR, restart Simplicity Studio. It will detect you have IAR installed and configure it as a build environment. This completes the Simplicity Studio installation procedure. Next, you may wish to watch a protocol-specific video on setting up a simple working example. You can also explore documentation, including Quick Start Guides and the Fundamentals series, which provides background on a number of key development topics. Thank you for watching.